Good afternoon, everyone, from the University of Kentucky campus, where this has been a very busy week. We're here, the back of the SAE house, where contestants uh, have been living throughout the week, hoping to be the next Miss Kentucky. Now, Miss Kentucky herself, Ramsey Carpenter, with us. This is your last full day as Miss Kentucky. It's so surreal. It's hard to believe that already a full year has gone by with this job. What have you done in the last year? A lot of traveling. What have I not done? A lot of traveling. I've been to over 170 schools. I've partnered with the National Multiple Sclerosis Society and, of course, with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture through Kentucky Proud as well. It truly is a full time job for Miss Kentucky. Talk a bit about that. And did it live up to your every expectation? And if not, what, what's been different? It lived up to my every expectation, but it also surpassed all of those because not only was it a 24 7 job, but it also had so many opportunities and connections that came with it. And that's something that I don't think any person who has currently been Miss Kentucky or is a former or forever Miss Kentucky can truly put into words. Until you live it and you really just go through the motions of it, you can't really understand. But of course, it is overwhelming in a positive way every second of every day, but it's one of the best experiences I could ever have. You know, there's so many Miss Conceptions about pageants and being a pageant girl or pageant queen. It's different with the Miss America organization, isn't it? it? Talk a bit about that and what it provides for those who, like yourself, scholarship money and, and things of such. So for myself, scholarship was one of my biggest pulls into it. Growing up, I really wasn't a pageant girl. Of course, I did a few county fairs because my friends were doing it and I thought it would be fun to dress up and be on a stage. But for me, it's one of those. I was drawn to this because it's a scholarship opportunity and also for the other aspects as well. The best way to sum that up, I'm not sure if you all know this, but the Miss Kentucky crown, uh, any of the state level crowns in the Miss America organization have four points and they do stand for something. So you have your scholarship, your biggest prize is not a crown, it's a scholarship. But winning Miss Kentucky last year and with other awards through the Miss Kentucky organization, I had $16,000 of scholarship funding, wow. which enabled me to finish paying for my undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. And also for service, I work with the National Multiple Sclerosis and now also the Teva Corporation and have been able to reach actually nationwide through different events to do different things for those individuals diagnosed with MS. Um, style, you can see that as fashion, but I embrace it more as living a healthy lifestyle um, because of the medical standpoint, but just living the fullest life that you can. Healthy lifestyle is important. And then also success. And that means something different to everyone out there. So one thing that was really cool about this is each Miss Kentucky isn't supposed to emulate the one that was before her. She's supposed to take this job and turn it into her own. So it was something I was really excited to do this You've year. done a great job at that. Pageant uh, is tomorrow night, the finals of the Miss Kentucky Pageant. Tomorrow night, Singletary Center for the Arts at 7 o'clock, coming up at 4.50. We're going to find out the most memorable moments of Miss Kentucky the last year and where she goes from here. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys.